Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks. In this channel, we generally discuss about public cloud design problem statement and their related solution. We covered three public cloud vendors, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud. So today's problem statement, how to realize NoSQL database with public cloud. In our last video, we have covered how Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services has solved this with Azure Cosmos DB and AWS DynamoDB. Today, we are going to discuss about Google Cloud Data Store and Firestore. Uh, so what is NoSQL database? NoSQL also known as not only SQL or non-SQL database. So it is an approach to database design that enables the storage and querying of data outside the traditional structure of found in, in, res, uh, in relational database. So what are all different types of NoSQL database which has been provided by Google Cloud? So Google Cloud has multiple options. One is Cloud Firestore, second is Cloud Data Store, Cloud Big Table, and Mongo, MongoDB Atlas. So what is Cloud Firestore? A document-oriented database storing key value pairs, optimized for small document and easy to use with mobile application. So it is more towards the key value pair kind of NoSQL database. Cloud, document, uh, Cloud Data Store, it's a document uh, database built for auto -scale, automatic scaling, high performance, and easy to use. Cloud Bigtable, it is an alternative to HBase or Cassandra, a columnar database system running on HDFS. So if you want to replace your HBase or Cassandra, then you can try out with Cloud Bigtable. And it is suitable for high throughput applications. MongoDB Atlas, as the name suggests, it is mostly for the MongoDB replacement, a managed MongoDB service hosted by Google Cloud and built by original makers of MongoDB. So that is the beauty of MongoDB Atlas flavor. So if you have something in MongoDB in on-premise system or in other systems and you want to migrate to Google Cloud, then MongoDB Atlas flavor of NoSQL database will help you out by achieving your goal. This is how, based on your design, based on your requirement, you can decide which flavor of NoSQL database that you can use with Google Cloud. Today we are going to discuss about uh, Google Cloud uh, Data Store and Firestore. So first let's try to understand what is Google Cloud Data Store. So uh, a Google Cloud Data Store is nothing but a fully managed, highly scalable and available durable database that scales automatically. And it is a document oriented database storing key value pairs designed to run high performance application at any scale. As you understand, it is NoSQL database and if you understand, if you have seen my previous video, then uh, there I have explained what is the beauty of NoSQL database and what are all different, uh, you know, functionalities that you are getting. So as you know, it has high, uh, highly available, scalable and it scales automatically based in the storing key value pairs of uh, data storage. So Google Cloud Firestore is the next generation of Google Cloud Data Store. So Firestore is just the next generation of Google Cloud Data Store, which has been evolved recently. So Google Cloud Firestore, is, it's a serverless document database. So previously the data store is not serverless, whereas the Firestore is a serverless database. And it is built in synchronization, like synchronization between the services or between your uh, regions or, you know, your availability zone fully customizable security and data uh, validation rules and seamless integration with GCP services. So this database is been integrated with multiple other GCP services, which is going to interact with this database. So it has a fully managed uh, service, it has serverless feature, and it has seamless integration with other features. So this is the, uh, you know, the extension of uh, data store with the Firestore. So we are going to discuss a bit more about Firestore. If we try to understand different features of uh, GCP Firestore, then in that case, it is a easy, easily developed rich application using a fully managed scalable and serverless document database. It is simple and flexible with pay as you go, like you, whatever amount that you are going to use or you are going to pay only the use that uh, that you have done uh, for your implementation. So it has no ops database lets you pay only for what you use. No upfront uh, expenditure or underutilized resources that you have to pay for. Simplified architecture lets you app stocks directly to Firestore from your mobile app or your web clients. Second, focus on serverless development. So Cloud Firestore comes with uh, ample support uh, for serverless development. It is possible to integrate your app with your cloud database without having extra, uh, you know, authentication service. 
live synchronization of offline mode which is a built in live synchronization and offline mode makes it easy to build multi user collaborative application on mobile app as well as iot devices automatic scaling it is very straightforward it is automatically scale based on your user demand regardless of the size of the database you will get the same performance out of it so that is the most punching line where you know irrespective of your size of your database you will get the right performance with the right behavior then uh, we'll understand the different uh, you know pricing structure for google cloud firestore uh, you to store the data in google cloud firestore you have to pay 0.18 dollar per gb and document rights uh, for that also you you'll pay 0.18 dollar per 100k document uh, read uh, also 0.06 per, per 100k uh, read operations and document deletes is 0.02 per 100k deletions so this is how for each operations you have to pay and uh, as you know like it is a pay as you go structure so you, the the operations the activities that you are going to do with your database only for that amount you are going to pay so this is all about google cloud database i have gathered all this information by following all these links of google cloud uh, portal so please feel free to go through the links you will find much more details whatever i have explained here so enrich your skills with google cloud and uh, have a good learning thank you